It's my great pleasure to have with me the Union Transport Minister Nitin Gadkari here in United States. Thank you so much, uh, Minister, for speaking with us. I have to begin with something which everyone tells me is the first thing they look at when they walk into your office, and that says, America, American roads are not good because America is rich. I'm going to ask you to complete that. Actually, it is a famous statement from the John Kennedy, the president of USA at that time that American roads are not good because America is rich. But America is rich because American roads are good. The prosperity is coming from the road. So infrastructure development is the most important thing in the development of the country. And that's why our government is now for this year, our finance minister has given the provision of one lakh crores for road only. Village connectivity, national highway, and I'm confident Whatever our government has taken a decision related with the road development, in five years, we will change the total scenario of our country as far as the road sector is concerned. Okay, I'm going to start with the focus on roads because that seems to be your primary agenda, at least on the East Coast. You're going to be traveling extensively in the United States. You've been to Washington, D.C. We are sitting in New York. You'll also be going to Los Angeles and San Francisco. So let's begin with road safety and the conversation of building highways that you've had with investors. Can you tell me the names of some of these investors? What kind of interest have they expressed in terms of how much are they willing to put in? Actually, today I'm going to discuss with the financial bankers and investors. In Indian scenario, we have hundreds of projects which are economically viable, having the internal rate of return is good, attractive. And Indian traffic is constantly increasing. So it's a good opportunity for the investor, there is no risk. The toll income of National Highway Authority, which is with my ministry, 100% owned government, uh, already their rating is triple A and our toll income is 10,000 crores per year. So in India now, I feel that it is the most attractive field for the investor, no risk. And uh, the traffic density is increased every time. So you will get your money back. Only problem where we have to find out some solution, a little bit dollar and rupees fluctuation. That is one of the issue. But I am confident that we're discussing this issue with the investors and bankers we'll find out some solution. And we can make a, such a, uh, a win-win situation for both the, both the parties. We'll find out the solution on it, and we'll be succeeding in it. And I am expecting a lot of investment from USA in infrastructure, particularly the road sector in India. What is immediately needed this year, sir? How much? Actually, presently, we don't have any financial constraint in the country. Now the sector is improved. At the time when I taken charge as a minister, there was 403 projects, cost 385,000 crores, and the project was toll project. But it's two years in our regime. We have taken a lot of cabinet decisions, 21 cabinet decisions, by which our government has taken a decision to solve the issues related to the environment and forest clearance, land acquisition, litigations, utility shifting, and today, it's a great pleasure and pride for me that 95% of projects are running fast, and we have already solved the problems. Only 5%, that 10 to 12 projects, cost of 20 to 25,000 crore. Still, there are some litigations are there. And we are trying our level best to find out some solution for that. So today, the atmosphere in Indian scenario is very good. People are responsive. Now the contractors, the investor position is changed. Now they are responding positively. We are, our decision-making process is very fast, full transparency, corruption-free system, and that is no land acquisition problem, no environment forest problem. And definitely there is a good response from the Indian contractors and investors. But at the same time, we have decided to make express highway. We are planning to first express highway, that is Delhi, that is Delhi and Westerly bypass, that is Delhi Ring Road. The Axis Control Express Highway, we already started the work for that. Then we have started the Delhi Merit Express Highway. Now we are planning for Delhi Katra, Delhi Jaipur, then Chennu, uh, Chennai, Chennai Bangalore, Bangalore uh, Hyderabad, and Vijayawada, that is uh, Amravati, the capital of Andhra Pradesh, from Amravati to, to Chennai, Hyderabad, and Bangalore. So now these are the express. We are before this year we are going to start Badoda to Mumbai Express Highway. For Express Highway we need huge investment for that. So naturally we are also find out 
who are the interested parties, the investor, those who are interested in investing in infrastructure. We will definitely positively uh, uh, going to talk with them. And I am confident that we will be succeed to get good response from the USA investors. So I'm going to ask you about the inevitable comparison between India versus China, particularly in America, considering this is your maiden visit, your first visit as uh, in your current uh, uh, portfolio here in the United States. What is the kind of outlook that you're getting from American investors in investing in India versus investing in China, which clearly has had problems of recent uh, times. You know, China growth has slowed down. There have been problems in uh, the policies being opaque, and even geopolitical disputes like the South China Sea. First of all, I don't know, make any comments on China particularly. But the one thing is very clear, that India is now the fastest growing economy in the world. All the economic parameter in India indicates that India is developing in a high speed now. And at the same time, our relationship, very familiar and good relationship with USA. And the USA investors who intended to invest in India, this positive atmosphere is definitely going to help us. And I'm confident that the way in which the investors are giving me the response. In Washington, I have discussed with Atlanta Chamber of Commerce, then uh, di different bankers, different investors, then uh, Indo-American Chamber. Then I, my experience was very good and satisfactory. And I'm expecting now today, I am going to discuss with the bankers in New York also. The investors, I have a discussion with them. So I'm confident that we will get good response. They are very positive. There are some procedural problems mm -hmm. because there are rules and regulations with Reserve Bank and Finance Ministry. Uh, but now our government has taken a decision that 100% FDI, we are allowing in the different sectors now. Sectors are open. The technology, innovation, entrepreneurship, and research is the basically the highest priority for our government and our prime minister. And our prime minister dream is make in India and made in India. For that purpose, my responsibility is to reduce the logistic cost. Present it is 18%, and my target is to reduce it from 18 to 12%. I'm going to do it. At the same time, only that, after reducing the logistic cost, we will fulfill the dream of our prime minister. And I'm confident that the people are very eager to uh, in invest in India. They are very much interested. A lot of people are meeting me. And my this uh, tour will be very fruitful and we will get good investment from USA for infrastructure in India. To reduce this uh, logistics cost, will you focus on waterways? Because you've done the costing. It's 1.5 rupees on the highways. It's 1 rupees on rail. And it's 20 pesa, correct yes, me if I'm yes, wrong, on yes. waterways. But a lot of your detractors and critics say that this is overly ambitious. You know, all the various projects which uh, talk about barges being used, marinas and development of such. What do you have to say to them? First of all, uh, this project is, will be the game changer. And regarding one thing I'm telling you about my political credibility. In my last 20, 35 years of political career, when I was minister in Mumbai, Maharashtra, I declared Mumbai Pune Express Highway, 55 flyovers, Varli Bandra ceiling project. And there was apprehension in the mind of the people that he is going to declare, but how it going to happen? But I prove everything. My political credibility is 100%. What I say, I understand. I will try my level best to do it. I don't know whether I will succeed, how much. But you just understand, when I taken charge as a minister, it was two kilometer per day road construction. At the end of March, it was 20 kilometer per day. Now I, my target is 41 kilometer per day for up to next March. In the waterways, we have started work in Ganga. Already we have allotted the contracts more than 4,000 crores. We are making multimodal up in Varanasi, Haldia, and Sahib Ganj. We are making 40 water ports, the five road services. At the same time, we have already started the work of changing the Farakka barrage, the water gate. Already 450 crores work already have been started. The Mahanadi uh, in Orissa, the Brahmani, already we have DPR is completed. We are going for tender process. Now, Bankingham Canal also, we are also going to start it. We have taken a decision to convert 111 rivers, having the length of 14,500 kilometers. And 7,500 kilometers seafront is available with us. We want to use it. We can use it and we can reduce the cost. This is possible. It will take some time. And as far as the performance of my department is concerned, the first year in the history of India, 
You did better than the yes. private sector. No, yes, that is also in there. Ports. Even even in all major ports and our flagship organization, Cochin Ship, Air Shipping Company of India, Trading, all are in profits. My profit is more than 6,000 crore. So the totally the indication of economic parameters in my department. It clearly indicates that the department is changing. The situation is changing, and people are giving me the good response. So I'm confident that the PPP mode, the, we have started this hybrid annuity mode. 40% of the grant we are giving it as a grant. And the success story, I mean, we are in a position to st start, and already 40 projects have already awarded. And next time, next three months, we'll be awarded for the projects more than one lakh crores. The things are moving fast. People are giving me the response. So it is a difficult task, I admit it. Because it is very difficult for the people to believe ki how it can be possible. When I construct Mumbai Pune Express Highway, I give you the promise to the people that you will be within two years from Mumbai to Pune. The people are laughing to me. But the day when I prove that, now people appreciate. So in the waterways also, I am very much confident it is a very difficult task. I am not going to give you any guarantee whether I will be succeed or not. But I, I will sincerely try for that. And I am confident that we will be succeed in it and by which we will reduce the cost. It's very unfortunate. From taking any material from Mumbai to Delhi is costly and complicated. But taking any material from Mumbai to London or Mumbai to Dubai, it is cheaper and easy. So this is the challenge for Indian government. It's my responsibility and we have to change it. Without that, we cannot increase our export. And we cannot fulfill the dream of our prime minister, made in India and make in India. We, my department, we are all committed for that. And I'm confident we'll be succeed in it. Okay, so we might just see the Burj Khalifa or the London Eye in the Mumbai's eastern ports as well coming our way. You know, but one thing uh, which everyone talks about is your vision document of 2009, which you started, is your tenure, uh, was again emulated on the national platform as the vision document of 2014 by your party's platform. So you obviously uh, have no shortage of vision. That's something that nobody can uh, really uh, dispute. But let me talk about road safety, because this has been also also a strong area of focus here in United States. I know you met with the U.S. Transportation Secretary, Anthony Fox. You are meeting with the U New York uh, Transportation Department as well. But we have 17 deaths per hour in India. That is the highest, probably one of the highest figures worldwide. I understand there's a lot of stress on the roads, a lot of population. But how do you intend to resolve it? You're absolutely correct. And this is the one sector where still we, we will not succeed to change the scenario. So this is a, one of the very painful thing for me. We have every year five lakhs accident and one lakh 50,000 deaths. But now we have taken it very seriously. We are trying our level best. We are now going for intelligent traffic system. Yesterday I visited the New York office that they are controlling the all traffic from one center. So we are accepting this, all these arranging video cameras. We are now, long, we already we have submitted new bill to the parliament. I am confident that we'll be succeed in it, that Motor Vehicle Act, which is on the same line of USA, Canada, Singapore. That is very good. And uh, at the same time, we have decided to find out, identify the black spots. So we in National Highway, we have identified 726 black spots, uh, and we are spending 11,000 crores on it. So at the same time, we are making provision for the state government. The CRF fund is given by central government to the state government. Now the 10% of fund is only reserved for improving black spots. We are now making cash berries everywhere because it's a problem in Himachal Pradesh, Uttarakhand. There are particularly the everyday 40, 50 deaths are there. So this is a very alarm situation for the country. Whole in the world, the way in which the accident taken place in India is not good. And it's my responsibility to improve the situation. And we are trying our level best to change the situation. At least our target is to reduce the 50% of accidents and save the 50% life of the people. And that is I'm trying for that. I'm very serious about it. And I accept that in this sector, we need to do more things for that. And we will try to do it. 
I'm going to ask you, Minister Gadkari, about uh, the recent cabinet uh, reshuffle. You have been obviously um, a stalwart in the party for a long time, both as the BJP president, also with someone who has three generations of Sangh connections, very closely connected with the Sangh. Even your family name, I believe, means keeper of forts. So in a way, you balance those relationships between various factions. Can you just tell me about the government's uh, vision going forward with this decision to change, make some changes, as well as the Sung's role uh, going into the next couple of years? Netu, related with the cabinet and changing of minister or portfolio, it is the right and privilege of the prime minister. But one thing is very clear and transparent, that our prime minister is very much committed for the development and progress of the country. So performance is the most important criteria for him. And his goal is very, very clear. And now this is the time that that goal of national reconstruction, to make India strong economically, always, by all methods, by using innovation, entrepreneurship, research, the technology, that is the dream of our prime minister. And it is really a, a responsibility of every minister to whatever the responsibility which is given by the prime minister to him, to fulfill that responsibility with a good performance, that is the responsibility of the minister. As a minister, the infrastructure development is my responsibility. And in my field, I am trying my level best to satisfy the prime minister. And at the same time, how we can be an instrument to fulfill his dream of making India a good class of infrastructure, good industries, employment potential, and eradication of poverty. These are the dreams for him. And he is trying, he is working day and night for that. And as far as our work is concerned, we are also trying to do it. And I am confident that day will come that India will be one of the number one country in the world. That is the mission behind all these efforts. I'm going to ask you about the Chabahar port as well, because the Prime Minister, uh, in his address in the joint session of Congress, made a particular mention of that and the development. How do you uh, look at that uh, ramping up, as well as comparisons of China in Pakistan, who is doing a lot of work as well, is spending, I believe, as much as $46 billion in development there, and one of uh, which is just half an hour away from the Chabahar port? Actually, the time period for Chabahar port was 18 months and now already three to four months. Now, within a year, I am confident that we will complete the work of Chabar Port. And Chabar Port, logistic point of view, is very important for India, for exports and imports. Even in special economic zone of Chabar Port, Indian investors, they are very much keenly interested to invest there because the power rates are very cheap, the gas is available with a very cheaper rate, and the distance between Delhi to Mumbai and compared with Kandla to Chabar, is, Kandla to Chabar is less compared with Delhi to Mumbai. So these are the lot of opportunities that are there. And uh, Chabar is a, a gateway for India to going to for Afghanistan, for Russia, Uzbekistan. All will be open for us. We don't need to go by Pakistan. So this is the golden opportunity for Indian investor, mm -hmm. Indian businessman. And it is a opportunity for Indian uh, to increase Indian exports. So we are all working in that direction. Regarding Pakistan, China, our intention is to maintain good relation with them. They are, we don't have any reservation about whatever the decision is taken by China for investment in Pakistan. It is their right and privilege. But as far as our country's approach is concerned, we want to maintain good relationship with China as well as Pakistan. And the Pakistan and India both are facing the problem of poverty, unemployment. So this is the time for the both countries to first give special attendance for this issue where the poverty and uh, unemployment is the big issue. So I feel that it is the time for Pakistan and India to maintain peace between the two countries. And our expectation is Pakistan should not support the terrorist and terrorist organization. That is only expectation we have from Pakistan. As far as China, we are trying to maintain good relationship with them. China is our, in India, a lot of our, on our project also, the Chinese company are coming. They are making big investment in India. And we have good relation with China. And every time we try to improve that relationship. 
But terrorism clearly is a problem that India has been fighting with. Obviously, Pakistan sponsored terrorism, but even uh, the unrest that we are witnessing now in Kashmir, for instance, how can infrastructure, how can the building of roads or development of transportation in those areas where tensions are so high and escalated these days, such as Kashmir, how can those be diffused or eased somewhat? Actually, we have already started the work of 40,000 crores in Jammu and Kashmir. And I'm giving the assurance that whatever from last 50 years work which was executed by the other governments, I am giving promise to the people of Jammu and Kashmir, within five years, our infrastructure work will be more than that. And we are taking decisions, making the big tunnels, these really huge tunnels. We are making good roads from Jammu to Srinagar. And everywhere, the developmental works are now already started. And I'm confident that in Ladakh, Leh, there are also people have a lot of expectation from us. And we are trying our level best to do it. All right. A final word, sir, on what you want to achieve from the US visit. I know you've got lots of investors in your mind, lots of people that you're visiting from the government and policy side. But if you have to say what your main takeaway from here is in terms of maybe investments, uh, number of uh, companies who come into India, what would that be? Investment is equally important. But the most important thing which uh, I feel that we have to take it from USA is the intelligent traffic system, road safety. We want to save the life of the people. And as far as my priority is concerned, my first priority is how we can save the life of the people. And that is the most important agenda for me. So I am teaching a lot of things from the USA systems. We are taking their technology, their innovation, their research, particularly in the uh, road safety sector. And I am confident that uh, USA minister, also transport minister, promised me to help all type of help in this type, in this sector. And our basic idea is to taking the advantage of all this research and system and to improve the traffic system in India and to save the life of the people. That is the most important thing. That is my highest priority. Good luck in that endeavor. Thank you, sir. Thank you.